hello students how are you i hope you are all fine and healthy and stay at home at the same time you have to learn your lessons which we teachers are every week we are uploading some of the lessons according to your syllabus so study well and stay at home so today we are going to start our lesson number 2 8 standard microorganisms friend and foe the remaining part of the chapter we will discuss today so let us start our lesson today so last class i had already explained about the usefulness of microorganism some of the usefulness already studied that is uh, how the vaccines are prepared how the antibiotics are prepared and how they are useful in preparing curd uh, baking uh, items like cake etc and it is also used for a commercial purposes that is preparation of alcohol vinegar etc also you had studied today we will study the increasing soil fertility by the microorganisms some bacteria and blue green algae are able to fix nitrogen from the atmosphere to enrich soil with nitrogen and increase its fertility so these type of microbes which are helpful to increase the soil fertility they are commonly called biological nitrogen fixers best example is rhizobia you can see on the screen the uh, nitrogen fixing blue green algae etc now the next uh, usefulness of microorganisms they are cleaning the environment how they will clean every now and then you can see the decaying or the waste materials of plants fruits as well as uh, remains of uh, food materials then the waste materials excreta of animals sometimes the dead part of the animals etc lying here there and within two days you can see a bad smell also coming out uh, how it happens because there are many microorganisms present in the air and soil which decompose dead organic waste of plants and animals converting them into simple substances the plant waste has been converted into manure by the action of microbes the nutrients released in the process could be used by the plants again so we can say the microorganisms can be used to degrade the harmful and smelly substances and thereby clean up the environment so these are the usefulness of microorganisms so the next part of the lesson is harmful microorganisms same way uh, how they are useful to us more than that many microorganisms are harmful in different ways some of the microorganisms cause diseases in human beings plants and animals such disease causing microorganisms are called pathogens best example you can say the virus nowadays uh, spreading all over the world which is uh, covid 19 generally call it as corona which is a virus dreadful virus which spreads through uh, personal contact so it is a very dangerous one and it easily spreads from person to person some microorganisms spoil food clothing and leather so we will study in detail how the disease causing microorganisms working in humans pathogens enter our body through the air we breathe the water we drink the food we eat etc they can also get transmitted by direct contact with an infected person or carried through an animal so microbial diseases that can be spread from any infected person to a healthy person through air water food or physical contact are called communicable diseases the best example is uh, covid 19 or corona other examples are cholera common cold chicken pox and tuberculosis when a person suffering from common cold sneezes 
fine droplets of moisture carrying thousands of viruses are spread in the air the virus may enter the body of a healthy person while breathing so how can we prevent this uh, to a certain extent we should use a handkerchief on the nose and mouth while sneezing it is better to keep a distance from infected person that we are doing nowadays that is uh, social distance keeping social distance and we are using the mask gloves etc while going outside etc so these are the preventive methods we can control to a certain extent there are some insects and animals which act as carriers of disease causing microbes example house fly mosquito etc house fly generally sit on garbage and animal excreta dead remains etc and the pathogens stick to their bodies when these flies sit on uncovered food they may transfer the pathogens to the food so those who are eating that contaminated food may get sick so it is advisable to always keep food covered avoid consuming uncovered items of food another example of carrier is female mos anopheles mosquito which carries the parasite of malaria you can see on the screen the anopheles female anopheles mosquito which generally spreads malaria female aedes mosquito acts as a carrier of dengue virus so now the question arising how can we control the spread of malaria or dengue all mosquitoes breed in water hence one should not let water collect anywhere in coolers tires flower pot etc by keeping the surroundings clean and dry we can prevent mosquitoes from breeding now uh, next part you can see a table given on the screen there are some common human diseases caused by different microorganisms and their mode of transmission is also there and which microorganism causing that type of diseases and how can we prevent generally that is also clearly given you can go through that some of the diseases are tuberculosis Uh, which is caused by bacteria measles chicken pox polio they are caused by viruses spread through air and cholera and typhoid they are spread through water or food and it is caused by bacteria and jaundice that is hepatitis b it is caused by virus and also spread through water and malaria or uh, uh, dengue we can say they are uh, caused by protozoa and it is caused it is uh, transmitted through mosquitoes so some of the common diseases affecting humans their mode of transmission and few general methods of prevent prevention are given on this table you can go through that now uh, same way the diseases causing microorganisms in animals and plants also there the best example some several microorganisms not only cause diseases in uh, humans and plants but also in animals one example is bacillus anthracis which is uh, discovered by robert koch in 1876 this causes anthrax disease it is a very dangerous disease causing in humans and cattle and foot and mouth disease of cattle is caused by a virus now this is causing microorganisms in plants several microorganisms cause diseases in plants like wheat rice potato sugarcane orange apple and others because of these diseases the they reduce the yield of crops they can be controlled by the use of certain chemicals which kill the microbes you can see on the screen some common plant diseases caused by microorganisms plant diseases uh, generally causing uh, citrus canker which is uh, caused by a bacteria and transmission through air it uh, spoils the edible citrus fruits 
then rust of wheat which is caused by a microorganism fungus and it is also spread through air or seeds and yellow vein mosaic of uh, lady's finger that is bindi which is caused by virus and it spreads through insects so these uh, microorganisms can be reduced or can be prevented by the use of certain chemicals which they can kill the microbes now the next harmful part of these microorganisms are food poisoning food poisoning could be due to the consumption of food spoiled by some microorganisms if you will keep some cooked food some hours outside you can see a foul smell coming and sometimes there are fungus also you can see especially the bread chapati etc we kept outside for long time you can see some powdery like substance on that they are microorganisms if uh, un uh, under a microscope you can very clearly see the hyphae of that fungus or bacteria so these microorganisms that grow on our food sometimes produce toxic substances and they make food poisonous causing serious illness and even death so it is very important that we preserve food to prevent it from being spoiled so today we are going to wind up our uh, lesson remaining part in the next session we will continue till then goodbye take care and stay at home be happy